Look, it was a brilliant save, brilliant game for sure. Lots of people talking, Don Logue, in the aftermath of it, about it not being on television, about it being on GAA Go, and this has become a big talking point. I guess it's around the visibility of the game and hurling. I know you have long-held beliefs that didn't just start this weekend about it. Yeah, definitely, Jack. You've heard me on about this for a, a good number of times. Like, hurling needs oxygen, right? It's, and I, I have no issue with pay-per-view. That's part of the landscape, and it, it has its role to play. But if you look at... Um, by next weekend, when Clare play Warford, four of the biggest Munster Championship games will have been on pay-per-view. The GA have introduced this microwave hurling championship, this compressed season, where there's 11 weekends of hurling. I would say three or four of those now, you're not going to have any games on, on free to air. And you have to ask, who is accountable for the promotion of hurling? Because whoever it is, is not doing a good job. The GA took on trusteeship of it, it looks as if they're actually shrinking the grain instead of growing it. And I would say you'd have to question, are RTE and the GA exploiting hurling? How many games, how many Munster Championship games in the football compared to the hurling, hurling have they showed? It looks very like that they're using hurling to get this joint venture off the ground, whereas it should be the other way around. There's loads, hundreds thousands of brilliant, brilliant volunteers out on the game who are trying to grow hurling. As I said at the outset, it needs oxygen. There's no better oxygen that you'll get in the game than the imagery coming out of the likes of Tip and Clare from a full Innes, that being beamed into every house in Ireland. The Clare and Limerick game, the power of that. My, my nephew, my father told me lately, can name all of the Liverpool squad. I don't think the inflow was ever in Liverpool. Why is that? The opportunity we've lost over the last number of weeks to market the game has been huge, not to mention last night. And all the kids, I mentioned them at the start, going down to the match with their, with their hurlies and so on, was brilliant. But what about all the kids that we're trying to introduce into the game, trying to grow the game, trying to bring new demographics into it? We've lost a huge opportunity over the last number of weeks. And I would say that the GA has failed hurling at this stage. I understand the point that Don Logue is making. And there will be hurling people who will feel that in this window, Jackie, that they haven't been given the same oxygen. But there are a multitude of games. There's only so many that RTE can show. There's all of this that happens. The split season as well. I know this all contributes to it. It's, it's not a simple puzzle. No, there's a lot of factors that you have to, you have to weigh up when you're, when you're looking at that. But the selection of the two... Like a Munster Championship is, is the jewel in, in the crown that is the hurling world. And yet two of the best games this year have been on Diego. No issue with Diego, but why are we selecting those key games at such an early stage in the Diego journey? Why isn't it other games? Like how many people would have watched those games if they were free to air? And I also... Like the Talchon Cup final was on, was on last year. Like... We're struggling to get our main games on, but yet the Talchon Cup can, can take precedence. So, I, it's, a so, great, it's a great point, Jack. The Joe McDonough is an outstanding competition. There's not even a hope of that getting on mainstream, really, when you, when, you, when you look at it, we can't even get our main games on. So that's what the frustration is. Like, we only have a small community, really, when we, we think the hurling, hurling is, is global. It's not. It's but a it's small not community. But it's not because, like, hurling is still only played in, you know, a very, very small population of counties when you compare it to the way that football is. And this is actually a bigger issue than just what's on television. It's actually about what's being done for hurling to grow the game in the whole country, as well as all of that. But that's exactly the point. We can't even grow it on this, uh, on this island here. The opportunity we've lost over the last couple of weeks. And back to Jackie's point... These are facts. Last weekend, we had, or last year, we had an All-Ireland quarterfinal played at lunchtime. Right? Imagine that, an All-Ireland quarterfinal played at lunchtime on a Saturday. The next day, there was a Talton Cup game on in Crow Park. I came in downstairs here, and I was looking up at the screen, and I thought something looked strange about Crow Park. Right? In fact, the cameras were on the other side of the field. Now, I can only assume right, that those cameras were put on the other side of the field so that the crowd would look bigger. Someone had the back of Gaelic football. If someone had the back of hurling in that same way, there is no way they would have sold out with those games over the last uh, number of weeks in terms of the Munster Championship. And the last point I'll make on it, Jackie, is I sat over there and the head of sport and RTE was here. You were here, right? And I said that given what was coming, that was a number of months ago, given what was coming with the coverage of the games in this country and on this station, we should put a rugby ball up in the corner of the screen up there, right? And... I'm very proud of the Irish rugby team and they're a credit to the country and we all hope they'll win the World Cup. But in terms of being a competitive space, the GA have waved the white flag because we've now given over 2023 
to rugby country? Well, look, in fairness, we can't compare all the sports here, and that's not what this show is here to do. And in fairness to RTE, I'm not going to decide what we show and what we don't show, but I think showing more rugby has actually been a really positive thing for this country in general as well, and I don't think that that's what this is here for. But, but I understand your point. We're here, I we're do. here, we're, we're here to talk about hurling, Jackie. Yeah, no, no, right? I do and understand. And it's, it's a competitive space, and there's a duty on the GA, the leadership of the GA, to fight for hurling, and all of those facts would suggest that they're not up for that fight. Yeah, and look, to be fair, I think that is a fight that is going to go on, and I do understand your opinions on it. 